We had no idea of what they did in the music business or what this whole world was about. We didn't come to the group as like professional managers. We never said we knew how to do it. Kit and I, we decided that we were gonna make a film that would be our film. And that's when I came up with the idea of the rock and roll thing. That they would find a really good rock and roll group and they would make the film about them. We looked everywhere, right? We looked all over the place for these bands. Yeah, I do remember him. I remember the night. Two guys, assistant directors in the film business, they were prepared to give all that up and manage the band and put some money into it. I think they lied about the money. And I look at these guys, but they weren't handsome. You know, they weren't nice. They were sort of like uh, misfits. It's a pity that Kit isn't here to tell his side, but you know, how did these two guys find each other? There were not two guys on the planet that knew less about rock than these two, and they had no connection. Their ideas were fantastic, and that's all I cared about. The more preposterous, the better. The more adventurous, the more dangerous. We had no money whatsoever. You know, it was absolute chaos financially. I'm getting more and more crazy that I'm being sued for mismanagement. We were going to go to the edge. I had this idea that it would deliberately blow itself up, you know, which Kent and Chris were really quite keen on. I mean, what is fabulous management? This is mismanagement. The Who would never have been successful without two special people. There's Kit Lambert and there was Chris Stamp. 